All right, guys, and welcome to this tutorial session um, with Ram. Today, I'm going to be teaching on a brief subject, which is how to retouch their eyebrows. Usually, when makeup artists um, make up um, models, you would realize that they have this uneven eyebrows and um, they have these patches. And so, I'm going to be uh, explaining how to retouch the eyebrows using the mixer brush, and especially this mix value here. So, without much ado, let me just jump into it. All right, so basically, um, this is a mixer brush. When have, if it's a normal brush, you just have to right click here. Um, and then you have your mixer brush over here. Okay, so you have the wet load mix flow. I'll explain these values in another video, but today we just want to focus on the mix value here. Do you get it? On a normal circumstance, this value is not activated until you toggle this little button on. Now, when you toggle it on, you realize that automatically this is filled with black. The color selected is black. You can change it to any color at all. But then this mix value only takes effect when this um, little button is toggled on. So let's go back off and whatever it doesn't affect it. So let me just explain this mix value here. So what I'll do is that I would... Um, um, Open a new layer, blank layer, fill it with gray. Oops, and gray. Okay. All right. So let me just move the flow, the load, and the weight to 100, everything to 100. Now, uh, with this mix value here, when I toggle this on, this is color black. Let me change this to uh, something like red. Okay. All right. So basically, what this mix value is telling. What I'm telling Photoshop to do is that um, if this is on zero, right, it means that bring in 100% of the color they are trying to introduce the red and then 0% of the, the color that is that you are painting on. So this gray. So we have 0% of the gray and then 100% of the red. So let me just paint and show you. Okay, this is what you have here. Okay. Now, if I change it all the way to 100, what I'm telling is that bring 0% of the um, the red and then 100% of the the color that you're painting on, that's the gray. Okay, so when I paint, you realize nothing happens. You understand? All right, if I bring this to 50, or let me see, 50, it means that bring 50% of the red and 50% of the gray and then mix it. You understand? If this is on 90, let me say 90, it means that bring 90% of the gray and mix it with 10% of, of the red. So basically, that's how the, the mix value here works. Okay, so let me just jump into um, today's tutorial. Let me delete this layer. All right, so today, basically, what we're going to be doing is that with this knowledge, we're going to perform the frequency separation. And then on our color layer, we will introduce black to fill in the patches inside because this eyebrow that we are seeing is black okay if you have a, a blonde color you'd have to use that but then this color that we have here is black so let me set my white to 30 that's just how i um, mastered it so these are the values i use 30 30 and my flow is also on 30 okay then um, the mix here i want to i like leaving it at 87 so it will bring in 13 percent of the color that i'm introducing and then mix it with eight seven percent of the original color that i'm painting on okay all right so basically i'll perform my so i have my frequency separation actions yeah if you don't know how to do frequency separation i think there are a bunch of videos um on youtube that you can follow or download any action from fx3 that would help you um, do this frequency separation so kind of frequency, simple frequency separation and then per the file I have here, I want to separate it by um, 8, a radius of 8 pixels. Okay, that's just when I have all the, just all the textures um, gone. Okay, so my action is ready. Right here, you can see my high texture layer and then my color layer. Alright, so I'm going to come here and then choose black. The same way you can just press um, Alt and then sample like, the black from here or any color. Okay, this is brown, this is not so black. I want a darker 
shade since we are using a little percentage of the color that we're introducing i want to choose black okay when you press d i mean if you sample this color and you press d goes back to black but that's default all right so i'll zoom in a bit and then start painting or start filling in the patches you can see a patch here a patch here so that's what i want to do start filling in a bit now in retouch and i always say that train your eyes to see what your eyes don't see don't wait till um, it's so obvious that you're making changes you get it normally for instance what i'm doing you may not see it but if you play before and after you could see the change so train your eyes to see what your eyes don't see so you bring in the patches you start filling in so with the edge this way okay right here okay brush here okay a little bit so you should have an idea how you want your eyebrows to flow okay so this is before and after before and after before and after it's looking good so what i'll do is that at this stage um i'll turn off the mix and then i'll come in still to my my color layer and areas like this which you would have um a very faint uh, or let me say an error stroke here from the makeup um, i can see this faint black line here you get it out drag or paint from the surrounding color onto it okay good so what i'm essentially doing is that i'm trying to um, finesse the sides or take care of the the extra strokes that are outside the 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 eyebrows okay come down here paint i'm paint sampling this color i'm painting this color onto it so it sort of like fades it out okay then i come over here to the front paint from the from the from the color that's the original skin onto the eyebrows so it fades it out so this is before and after you can see that it fades it out here any other detail that you see here is left on the on the texture so when i turn this off you see what you're seeing you understand all right so we're back i'm gonna pin this in sometimes you just want to turn off your your texture layer to see what's on the texture layer and then what's uh, on the color layer so bring it back on so you can see that a lot of um, detail is left on the, the texture so when i do this 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 is the next step that i do um of course after toggling this off i come with a fairly bigger brush and i brush over the entire thing so that it would even out so that it would even out um the whole eyebrows you know originally some areas appear to be thicker do you get it so you don't want to do it too much just something like this. so this be this is before and after before and after all right so there you have your eyebrow there before and after so now i'll come to my my high frequency or the texture layer and um with my clone stamp I'll begin to clone some of the the text the details the textures away do you get from oh sorry there's on the sample is should be on current layer okay so clone here clone here all right so you clone here clone
Okay. You're yeah, looking good. All right. Can I clone this texture a bit? Reduce the brush size. Alright, so there's before and after, before and after, before and after. Then this off, see, okay, so I have a little detail here. And normally I do this after doing my, my skin retouch. I mean, this is just the last step. For the purpose of this tutorial, I decided to skip the skin retouch and then go straight into the, into the eyebrow retouch. Okay. All right. All right. So essentially, this is before and after, before and after, before and after. Um, the last thing that I want to do is to introduce a bit more of texture, artificial texture, onto my um, onto my um, eyebrows as hair. So what I'll do is that I'll open a blank layer here and then come all the way up here to uh, the regular brush, okay? Then with my brush size, the hardness, I normally set it to 99 and then my brush size is one pixel, okay? Enter. Then I zoom in. Zoom into the image. And I begin to draw some actual Oh, sorry, uh, opacity 100, flow 100. Begin to draw, introduce hair um, texture. You let it flow in the direction of the hair. You get it. And I always say that in in retouching, it's it's important to understand how the body flows, how the eyebrows would flow normally. You no, know, over here you'd have very short. Some of them would go this way. I'd have one coming, okay. Just to fill in some of the areas or to introduce a bit of um, texture into it, okay. Okay, so now that we have it here, um, it's looking quite fake. This before and after, it's looking quite fake. So I come down to my uh, my filter, um, blur, Gaussian blur, and I blur it by um, one pixel. You get, or sometimes 0 0.3, 0 0.3 pixels, and then I reduce the opacity. Get it, let's see right about there before after and bring it up a bit before, after before and after you zoom in a bit and see if it's okay so this looks like a bit of real hair you get you want to drop down the opacity a bit slightly okay so before after before after okay so essentially this is how you um, retouch um, eyebrows so this is before and this is after, before and after using the mixer brush. I say that the mixer brush is, is, is one of the most powerful tools you can find in Photoshop in, in, in terms of retouch. And I use, you can use it to dodge and bend, do a, a complete skin retouch. It's very, very, very powerful. And I also use it for color correction. I'll be teaching that in my subsequent uh, um, videos. I mean, skin touch, um, skin tone, um, mapping and all that i use like sometimes use a mix and brush and it's, it's very powerful so that's i'll see you guys and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and also follow me on ig uh, 
that's Ram Studios underscore GH. And I'll see you. Take care.